Hello, hello! Welcome to another Let's Play of Chalk, and we are in level three. As you can see, well, not really. You can't really see. You just have to read the YouTube title. <laughs> now this level is kind of interesting. Interesting because the background seems to suggest that this little girl is now having nightmares about Japanese. As you can see by the hiragana in the background. Alright, so you have these enemies, uh, these little white balls that come from the top and bottom and the sides. And by itself, they're not dangerous, but when they're mixed in with other enemies, like right now, <laughs> they get a little bit more dicier. There we go, good job. In the background, you also have these little structures, which, which reminds me of a uh, one of those Japanese shrine entrances. Ooh. I really like the music too. It's uh, it's kind of Japanesey. <laughs> Is that a term, guys? Japanesey. <laughs> Sounds like it's from Japan or Oriental. Now you have these little round enemies that I like to mention. Kind of reminds me of uh, slime, like a slime that you'd see in a uh, in an RPG. There's always a slime monster in RPG game or MMO. Oh, got you! Yeah, overkill. And for some reason, I'm having a hard time dodging these little bouncy ball things. Ah, uh, come on, come on! All right, there it goes. Come on! Yeah, don't get hit. Oh, okay, good, good, good. I am actually having a little bit more of a hard time doing this while commentating. <laughs> I mean, I, earlier I did up to stage 2, and oh, uh, what's this? Wait. I'm guessing it's one of those matching games where you match the time. I guess it's not this clock, it's this clock. Yep, it's this clock. So you adjust the hands to match the one on the right. So match the clock on the left with the one on the right. I'm not sure how many times we had to- Ooh, okay, that was close. <laughs> God, did I get it? Nope. There I go. Oh, and I got hit. With this, you don't have to worry about the enemies, because they will always respawn, no matter what. So it's best to dodge them and then work on the time. See, as you can see, not bad. Uh, there I go. Did, did I do it? Nope. Eh? Oh, okay. Wait. Just, uh, there I go. Actually, you could pick a shield around yourself if you wanted to. That works too. There we go. Now, so far, I'm quite pleased with the originality of these enemies. Quite please. Although he does, like I said before, the enemies are recycled. There seems to be one new enemy per stage, from what I can see, and all the previous enemies are recycled. I mean, I, I don't particularly, particular, particularly mind. It's a free game after all, and I should be working on a clock instead of talking. <laughs> What do you want from me, clock? Oh, okay, there it goes. So that was just a mini boss, apparently. Now with these little ball things, you can make a circle. And if you make them bounce back and forth, you can get more points. I don't know why, but it just does that. See, so you, you can see a nice... Oh, nice, nice. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Ah, stupid block! No, 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 watch out! Ah, <sighs> jeez. Boom, 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 boom. Overall, I am quite satisfied. It's just stage 3. I don't know how many stages there are. But I'm quite satisfied indeed. Indeed. <laughs> Ooh, no, oh, these are quite fast. The one complaint I do have is the screen is kind of small. So when enemies come out, 
it's a you have a harder time reacting since you have less distance between you and the enemy. Ooh, I escaped that one unscathed. Oh, never mind. Ugh. Yeah, so many dang blobs. Go away. Go away. Okay, that was. Oh, uh, see, as you can see, in this game, it's best that you stay in the middle because enemies come from every direction. <laughs> every direction. Usually when I play like a side stroller that involves a lot of projectiles, I like to stay at the bottom. But in this game, it's different. They come from everywhere. <laughs> Ooh, oh, that was close guys. That was close. Oh, I almost got him. So I'm getting a tiny bit more better. I'm not as nervous <laughs> before. <laughs> You know. And warning! We have a new boss! So this girl is having nightmares about Japanese. Huh. And the boss looks like a fat Buddha. Well, let's see, what do we do here? So, I'm guessing, let me see, let me see. Uh, so basically, we drag these uh, little core things into its slot. I don't know what it does, but okay. Sure thing, game. Oh no! Buddha is not gonna be happy. <laughs> Let's see. Alright, so the- Ooh, that almost got me. So the white little circles, they prevent the- they prevent you from putting your little plug thing into a, its slot, as you can see. What I like doing is I like to make a big circle and it pretty much blocks the bullets. I guess it, I guess you call them bullets. I'm not sure how what you would call it. Projectiles. <laughs> Boom. Stupid Buddha. Oh, I don't mean to offend anyone if anyone's Buddhist. I'm Buddhist. But hey, you know. <laughs> Why so serious? You know what I mean? All right, we could do this. We could do this. No problem. <laughs> Whoa, my mouse just went off the screen. Hmm. And also, the boss—they seem to share the same same song, I believe. This is stage three, and I believe that the song for each boss is the same, which is a little bit disappointing. I wish there was a slightly more variety. Uh, did it? Nope. Uh, there it goes. Silly Buddha. Tricks are for kids. <laughs> uh, there we go. Uh, nice try. Think I wouldn't notice a little dumbbell thing coming up to get me. Here. There it goes. I find the bottom right to be the hardest to get. Is it? Because it, because the bullets spawn right where the plug is, almost it just makes it harder. It, as you can see, <laughs> there it goes. Oh, another round of this. So each consecutive round, there's more and more lines of bullets. Oh, nice try, game. Nice try. Not bad. Almost got me. So after each part, there's more and more lines of bullets. Which makes it more of a hassle to put your plug into its slot. But with a little bit of preser perseverance and luck and lots of circles, you can do it. <laughs> but there you go. No more spaceship for you, Buddha. I actually, I don't know. Whoa! Flying Buddha! Flying Buddha! Oh, that seems easy. I just draw circles around him. So for every enemy, if you don't know what to do, just draw circles around him. And you'll eventually know how to kill it. A D, yeah! So thanks for watching. I'm Vaddy of Vaddy Wild Games, and thank you.